What's up, Leo? Welcome to your love reading. This is for April 1st through April 15th, 2019. Zodiac sign of Leo. So, if you are a sun, moon, rising Venus, or you're just checking in on a Leo, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, you guys. Leave your comments, all that good stuff. If you need a private reading, hit that description box below. It'll take you right to my website. Also, I'm on Instant Go, if that's easier. All right, check it out. This is the Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 1st through April 15th. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing fantastic. All right, let's see what's coming in for Leo. These cards have been nice and shuffled, so we're just going to get right the hell to it, Leo. See what's coming in April 1st through the 15th in love. All right, let's check it. Coming into the current moment, Leo, we have the Six of Swords. I like to call this Ain't Nobody Got Time For That Shit card. All right, Six of Swords coming in. What's crossing or challenging that Six of Swords is the Father, a.k.a. the Emperor. Major Arcana for Aries. What's on your mind, Leo? What is it? The Two of Shields in reverse. So that would be the Two of Pentacles in the traditional Rider way. It's in reverse. All right, what's the situation for everything? The King of Shields, a.k.a. the King of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with Earth. All right, in the recent past, Leo, what do we got? We got the Fool. Major Arcana for Aries. Coming in, what you're going to experience is the Nine of Shields, Akka, the Nine of Pentacles. A lot of Earth energy here so far. How do you see yourself right now, Leo? Let's take a look. Rebirth, Judgment. It's Judgment Day. Let's see. One, two, three. Three major arcanas already. So external to you in your environment is the Six of Wands. All right. All right. In your emotions, Leo, what do we got? We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. And the outcome in love, Leo, we have the Merlin in reverse. So this would be like the Hermit in the traditional Rider Wait, sign of Virgo. It's in reverse. All right. Let's see what the hell is going on for Leo. Let's check her out. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. All right. So the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, usually a Sagittarius, but if not, the Knight of Wands is just the energy. It could be your, either you, I mean, this is your energy too, Leo. So this could be you or the other person. The Knight of Wands is kind of hard to tie down, right? It's like that energy. Knights are always coming, they're going. Knight of Wands energy loves to exit, but doesn't like to stay. He's a traveler. On to the next. You know, it's just somebody that's either traveling, leaving a situation. They're on the move always, though, with the Knight of Wands. So, again, this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with, okay? Uh, the Knight of Wands. Wands are all about action and passion. But this is somebody that's not really about a commitment. Or they're leaving. They're coming. They're going. It's that energy. All right. Let's take a big, fat look and see what we're doing here. All right, Leo, coming in right now, we have the Six of Swords. So another travel card. Some of you guys are traveling. But this, you know, the swords are all about that mental energy. So with the Six of Swords, you guys are moving on to calmer waters, okay? You might literally be moving away from somebody, okay? Leaving the choppy waters behind, okay? Getting to the smooth. See, we're leaving the choppy and we're going to the smooth. I love this deck. The illustrations are, well, they're gorgeous, all right, so yeah, so coming in right now, you guys are, somebody's moving or traveling for some of you. That's what I'm feeling intuitively. I'm, I'm just saying, okay. But if not for others of you, you guys might be literally moving on from someone. Sometimes a six of swords is like, even when you're coupled up, you're in a relationship, you know, you're getting to those calmer waters. You're coming to some type of resolution. Okay, what's challenging that or influencing is the father AKA the Emperor. So major for Aries. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries. Okay. Somebody here is coming to a resolution. They're getting to more a more peaceful place or they're moving on from somebody. And it's all about regaining power and control and stability. Some of you might be moving on from an Aries. Okay. If not, it's just all about you guys reigning in your power. You know, taking control of a situation. <clears throat> Putting your foot down, Leo. On your mind is the two of pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys are dropping someone. This is like that energy on your mind, Leo's. I need to regain balance in some way. There's been burdens and it's on a practical level. So on your mind, you guys might, this could literally be a breakup. Like you're dropping someone. 
it could be this Aries energy also the Emperor is a father figure a husband something like that I'm getting a lot of like father husband energy here for some of you, you and this Aries or this father, husband type energy are moving on to calmer waters, okay, and dropping some burdens. In the recent past, we have the fool. So see more Aries energy. A lot of you are dealing with an Aries, major kind for Aries. Somebody, and we'll clarify, somebody either took some type of new risk, a leap of faith, a new path, because of, of course, the fool is you know, zero, major, con it's starting again, it's taking a new path, I feel like a lot of you guys are breaking up with somebody, and you're just moving on, I'm not even going to make this difficult, I'm really not, that, that's what I'm getting, that's the energy that I'm getting here, and I think for some of you, it is a husband, you know, it's that strong, you know, because in this, the situation is the king of shields, so this is the king of pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but again, father, husband energy. This is somebody, the king of pentacles in the upright is bringing stability to a relationship on a practical level. You know, it's like wanting to commit, wanting to be, it, it's reliable, the king of pentacles in the upright. This person is in the foundation. This is why everything's happening. He's in the upright though, you guys. And, it, uh, and I am feeling that this is male energy. I know a lot of readers are like, gender is neutral. Mm, not really. Not for me. This is very masculine energy. Okay? In the foundation. So I feel like a lot of you are moving on from this person. Because coming in, what you're going to experience is the Nine of Pentacles. See, you guys are valuing yourself. More earth energy. But this is the Nine of Pentacles. When, coming in, that's what you're going to experience. This is like taking stock of your independence. It's being single, but it's being financially stable and grounded. But remember, Pentacles are about worth and value. Okay? You guys value yourself. You see the worth of yourself. And you, some of you just want to be single and independent. So that's why coming in, you're moving on and you're dropping somebody. How you see yourself right now is rebirth, so judgment, major arcana, making a huge important decision. This isn't always about resurrection or second chance. This is also taking stock of the past, rising from the ashes, making a huge, huge decision. It's judgment day. It's life altering. And it has something to do with this king of pentacles. Now, if it's not an earth sign that you're dealing with, again, it's just the energy of somebody perhaps that you've been in a long-term commitment with or that wants that with you. It's mature. It's older energy. We have the father, which would be the emperor and the king of pentacles. So it's like that kind of older, grounded, stable energy. Outside influences coming in. So this person that you're dealing with or that you're thinking about, this would be their energy because this is in your environment. Is the six of wands. Six is all about balance. It can be communication. The Six of Wands is recognition, attention. Somebody will clarify. Somebody in your environment, Leo, wants your attention or your recognition in some facet. Or this person might even be in the public eye. Maybe they get a lot of attention. But this is, um, you know, being recognized. It's success. It's victory. There's somebody in your environment, Leo, that wants victory and success. We're going to see if that's with you or if that's just in general. But that's the energy. Now, in your emotions, Leo, you have the big fat queen of cups in reverse. Guess what? He or she does not want to offer the cup. They don't. It's upside down. Look how watery this is. It's so pretty. This whole deck is very blue. It's interesting. Water, emotion. She's got one foot in the water and one on the rock. So she's stabilizing and grounding herself. But that cup's not really full of water, is it, Leo? Which would be emotion. That cup is full of light. It's like gaining some type of enlightenment. But when it's in reverse, nah, no thanks, I'm good. Right? So that's in your emotions. There's somebody that you guys aren't opening up to. They may have even hurt you. Sometimes that queen of cups in reverse has been hurt by somebody, right? And isn't completely healed, but more so just not offering the motion. Now, the outcome is the Merlin in reverse. So this would be the hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. So we have this king of pentacles here who could be a Virgo. Doesn't have to be, you guys. I'm just throwing out the signs. But the outcome for Leo from now until the 15th, or April 1st through the 15th, is the hermit in reverse. Somebody wants to come back around. It's probably this King of Pentacles energy, Akka Emperor. 
because you guys are making a decision. I don't know. It's weird. It's like this person wants you, but Leo is like independent and single or wants to become that way. And that's why this might even be you, Leo. This is probably your energy taken off. The Knight of Wands is like, mm, I'm good. I, you know, I'm just saying that's what, that's what it is. All right, so let's get to it. Let's clarify this bad bitch of a reading. All right, so this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and their love life. April 1st through April 15th, 2019. This deck has been shuffled, but I'm doing a few more. Leo, what does Leo need to know? We just want love messages. What's coming in for Leo? What love energy do they need to be aware of? April 1st through April 15th, 2019. Zodiac sign of Leo. We want to see what the hell is going on. Let's cut her and do her and check it. Here we go, Leo. Let's check out that overall energy of the Knight of Wands. Let's see what this is. Why is this Knight of Wands here for Leo's overall energy? What is it? Show us and tell us, universe. Knight of Wands, why is this here? The Eight of Swords. Could be another fire sign that's causing you, you know, to be in your head. Think about something over and over. It's like obsessive thinking with the Eight of Swords. Swords are all obviously mental energy. It's like going around and around. It's temporary usually. Like just take off the blindfold and step out, right? Um, but the overall energy is, I think you guys are moving away from that though. Because the Knight of Wands is in pursuit, right? The Knight of Wands is leaving usually. And I mean, if you look at the placement of the cards, the Knight of Wands is moving away from this Eight of Swords energy. So no longer feeling trapped. The other person may, but I think Leo is on the move, okay? No longer feeling stuck, trapped to a person. Coming in, we have the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands coming into the current moment for Leo? Show us, what is it? And the Knight of Wands in reverse. Again, you guys, like you guys are moving on from something or someone or an energy that's just flighty, like in and out. Like you've put a stop to it. Also, that Knight of Wands in reverse is you've lost the passion for someone or something and you're just moving on. This is Leo, I think, here doing this. So what's influencing this or the challenge is the father, a.k.a. the emperor, son of Aries. Again, husband, you know, very strong masculine energy, but it's also about standing in your power, regaining control, and also setting boundaries. Um, why is the father here? The father, that cracks me up. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. You guys want to be single and independent. You're gaining your power back here. You're, you're understanding the value and worth. Of yourself Leo and some of you guys just want to be single it's all over the reading you want to be single and independent from somebody you've been with for a very long time could be a husband could be an Aries it's just what I'm getting you've lost the passion on your mind is the two of Pentacles in reverse dropping someone it, it could be a breakup dropping a burden trying to regain your stability and your balance here um, on a practical level though why is this two of Pentacles in reverse for Leo the chariot in reverse major for cancer a lot of major arcana a lot of big changes for leo some of you are dropping a cancerian others of you though i feel more intuitively this is you guys just in your thoughts right now it's like mm, i'm dropping it because it's not moving forward there's no victory there's no success it's very stuck energy also i feel too for a lot of you there's some type of obstacle intuitively i'm feeling too that you just you can't overcome it's like obstacles and you're just not about it you're not feeling it that's what's on your mind. So, because in the recent past, we had the fool. So some of you guys just decided, decided to start again, right? Why is the fool here in the past? There's Aries energy again. What's this fool for Leo's recent past? Death in reverse. Sign of Scorpio. Got a lot of major arcana. Some of you guys in the recent past, you just decided to set out on a new path here with the full energy. Start again. I'm starting over. I want something new. I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to go for it, right? Because with death and reverse, there's just a lack of a transformation. Death and reverse is like a lack of change. Um, it can talk about like clinging to the past. Um, I don't really feel that here. I feel like there's just a lack of shedding the old skin and starting something new within a relationship and so you guys just took a new a new path here some of you are dealing with an aries too that was kind of clingy perhaps or clinging on to the past but the situation is all about this king of shields king of pentacles who is this why is this here in leo's foundation show us and we have the king of pentacles in reverse again here 
I don't want to hear any bitching about the reversals, by the way, okay? These cards have been shuffled really well. It's the way they come out. There's a message. And not all reversals are bad, okay? So in the foundation is an earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus are somebody that's like long-term, commitment, stable, grounded, usually very, very financially secure, good with money, that kind of shit. But on top of it is the King of Pentacles in reverse. So this is like... The, a lot of times when these kings or queens come out in reverse, Leo, they've left or you're leaving them. There's a lack of stability with this person is what it's showing me. Somebody in this scenario does not want to commit. The king of pentacles in reverse can be very selfish energy, very self-focused. Um, why the king of pentacles here? Somebody wants to leave this, this situation. The nine of wands because you're just tired. In the foundation is a relationship that's probably been around for a while somebody's not acting right or somebody's bringing the lack of financial stability some type of instability here and it's because of the nine of wands somebody's just very very tired that nine of wands is like i am beat the fuck up i'm tired i can't even you know it's like i'm gonna keep going but i'm real tired i'm very cautious and i'm very worried um it could be due to finances right uh, coming in though, you're going to experience the nine of pentacles. Why is this nine of pentacles coming in for Leo? Show us. And the 10 of cups. Yep. Family situation, lack of happiness, completion of a cycle though. You know, a lot of you guys are just going to remain single. You want to come in, you're going to experience being single, understanding your value and your worth and being independent from this energy because the 10 of cups in reverse. It's just you're not happy. A lot of you, this is a family situation, but it's feeling depleted, right? You see yourself right now as judgment. Why does uh, Leo see themselves as judgment? Why is it here? Why? And we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're not off. You've made the decision to no longer be emotionally available. That Knight of Cups has something in that cup to offer, and it's usually emotion. It could be an apology, something like that. But you're just not offering it. You're closing it off, right? Which, I mean, this all makes sense, okay? You guys have made that decision. You've kind of taken stock of the past and made the decision to close that cup down. Closing it down. Now, outside of you, so in your environment, this person, what are they bringing? They're bringing the Six of Wands. This is what you don't see. Why is the Six of Wands coming in for Leo? Show us. And we have the hermit in reverse it came out in reverse see again virgo energy all right virgo energy in your environment somebody wants your attention leo they're trying to get your attention they want some type of victory or success and with the hermit in reverse they want to come around you know it's like come back to a situation and i feel like leo says mm, i'm good all right why is this uh hermit in reverse why is it here? Why is the hermit in reverse external to Leo? Show us. Show us now. <sighs> the star. Yep. Sign of Aquarius. They want to heal. This person wants to heal. And you guys have pretty much made the decision not to do that is what I'm seeing. <laughs> okay. They, they want to heal. A lot of you guys, this person feels like you're their soulmate, twin flame, that kind of shit. Um, you're their star. Okay. It's wishes being granted, manifestation. They want to manifest a new beginning is what I'm seeing. But in your emotions, Leo, you have the queen of cups in reverse. So why is this here? Why is it here? The ten of wands. Yeah. You're shutting down the emotions because there's just a long, long cycle with all the tens and the major arcana. Leo is shutting it down. Sorry, cross watchers. You can thumbs down all you want. You know, don't be so sensitive. This is just what I'm seeing. But Leo, in your emotions, you're shutting down the cup. You're not offering the emotion to whatever energy this is here, okay? Again, could be a king of pentacles or just somebody that, you know, there's like, they want to build long-term stability with you. That ten of wands is like, mm-mm, long, long, long burden. It's causing me worry. Could be some guilt involved there on somebody's part, but you're shutting it down. Now, the outcome for Leo is this hermit in reverse, why is the hermit in reverse for Leo's outcome? What's this hermit in reverse all about? What is it? What is it now? The three of pentacles. Yeah, more earth. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This person wants to work with you, Leo. It's a lot of Virgo energy. If it's not an earth sign, it's just somebody in your environment. We see it here. They want your attention. They want success, recognition, and healing. They feel like you're their star, Leo. And in the outcome here, they come back, right? They're coming back around, which doesn't surprise me in Mercury retrograde, although it's about to end, thank God. Because with the Three of Pentacles, this is wanting to build. It's wanting to work together. They want to see, receive their accolades with you big time. 
time. It's all over the reading with the three of pentacles. Okay, so don't be surprised if this person isn't going to let you go so easily. And I also feel like with the overall energy, the eight of swords, they're very tied and bound to you. I think this is you guys. I think this is you, your overall energy, Knight of Wands, Leo. Okay, you guys are on that way out, and this person, the Knight of Wands is looking away from this Eight of Swords. This Eight of Swords says, oh, but I'm stuck and tied to you, don't leave, okay? Because in the outcome, it shows that they still want to work together. They still want to build, and it's a very, on a very practical level. Um, why the Three of Pentacles? One more card on the Three of Pentacles for the outcome for Leo. And the seven of wands, okay? They want to let down their guard and open up. They want you to do that probably because that's your energy. A lot of you also too are just going to give up on this. That seven of wands in reverse is like, mm, I don't really feel like I can, I can even stand my ground. Like I don't even want to fight for it, says the seven of wands in reverse, okay? But it's also letting your guard down by the seven of wands in reverse. The world in reverse, yeah. So this person wants to open up to you because there's a lack of closure here. Don't be surprised, Leo, if this person doesn't let you go so easily is what I'm seeing. The world in reverse, this person with the seven of wands in reverse, I think that's more them wanting you to let down your guard, open up, let down the walls, let down the defenses because with the world in reverse, they don't have closure. That's obvious here coming in. So Leo, you guys, it looks like to me, you guys have decided to move on to calmer waters because well, ain't nobody got time for that, says the Six of Swords. And you just want to be single and independent because there's a lot of unhappiness. It could be affecting the home. You've made that decision. I'm not offering the cup. Here they are coming in. They want attention. They want to heal something. You see it as a big fat burden. And then the outcome, you know, here they go. Let's work together, Leo. And Leo says, mm, I, I don't think so. You know, but this person is going to have some type of lack of closure for you, Leo. So there you go. I love you hard. Love me so hard back. And we're going to talk soon. Take care.